What's going on chatbot builders? In this video, you're gonna learn how to create an AI audio reply. Let's get right to it. All right, so let's go ahead and click on add new. And what we'll do is we'll say default reply audio and we'll click continue. All right, so we're gonna now make our default flow that will instead of text reply in audio. So let's go ahead and click on our first block here. This is gonna be very similar to our original default flow because we're gonna start off with an open AI action. We'll click on the action and we can actually, if we have one made, we can go ahead and use an agent here. Our model is fine for 4 Mini. Let's select our agent, which is Ryan's restaurant agent in this case. And we don't need to do anything here to the user message because whatever they've sent, whether it's text or audio, we're going to treat it the same and we're going to only respond with audio. We can, in this instance, use to use default reply. That'll be okay to save the message that we're going to send to the user and we'll leave everything else the way it is. The default reply is what we've saved the text that we're going to actually send to the user. So continue, all looking the same, right? We'll now introduce in our next step. We'll just drag open a new block, click add content, actions, open AI again. And in this case, we'll click on the open AI element. And instead of generate text, we're gonna generate text to speech. And so here, all we need to do is include the default reply custom field from the previous step because that's going to contain the text that we would normally send to the user. We're going to instead send this text to OpenAI. And then we just need to choose our voice. I think Nova is a great voice. And we'll need to create a new custom field. So click add new and we'll say um, default audio reply and click continue. So this is the text that the, the user would normally get, but instead we're sending that to OpenAI so that they can do their magic and send that voice back to us as Nova. And we're gonna save that sound to default audio reply and click continue. So then here, the next step that we'll need to do in the last step is we'll provide the audio reply to the user. So we'll click add content. And in this case, we're gonna go here to file, and click audio, click insert link and the cuff from this previous step is what we'll be using which is default audio reply and so let's make sure that we do a good job of renaming our blocks so send the audio is what we'll name the last one here we'll rename the second block generate the audio reply and then here we'll say generate the, the text and so here's our nice little three step flow our nice little workflow here let's click publish click back and then what we'll do here is we'll go to settings and we're going to change our default flow to default flow with audio and click save. So now when I go back to my flows and I go to the welcome message, right? This is how you start off every new conversation. We'll just click the assistant tab and click preview. And we will see that first we get a text based welcome message, which is here. And I could say, Hey, who is this? And then we'll see that we should get back, not a text reply, but instead it should be. Hey there, this is Ryan's restaurant, your go-to spot for all things Perfect. seafood. How can I help you today? That is exactly what we wanted um, to have an uh, audio reply. And so if I go back and I say, okay, thanks, even though I am typing, it's still going to give me that default flow. You're welcome. Which is if you need actually anything, the just let audio me know. Reply. I'm here to help. I'll show you another trick here to understand well. If we were to go to our settings page, turn off the default flow integrations go to open ai use our default agent enable automatic voice response and again we'll choose the same voices before nova we can click save now and in this case the difference here will be when we go to our welcome message and then we click on the assistant tab this time we'll say hey how are you in this case we're going to get a text response back so this is what we want if i was to send an audio message in this case it would actually know and automatically respond with audio. In this instance, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure my welcome message is published. I'm going to hover over the first block. I'm going to grab the publish link here. I'm going to choose web chat and I'm going to open up a new tab. And here's our chat that we've been working in. And so I can say something like this. Are you there? And I'm saying this in text. It's responding back in text. If I say, hey, I was just trying to see if you had any pizza available for me to uh, come buy and bring back home. <laughs> Weird message, right? So I sent an audio message and we're going to also get back an audio message. And so here we can see that I got a voice message returned back. Perfect. And it's going to respond back and forth. Do you have seafood? It's going to respond back and forth in whatever way that I choose to communicate with it. 
Um, so that's great. All right. So um, another thing that I can show you guys how to do something kind of fun um, and it's very easy to do is we made our default reply audio first. What we can do here is we can actually duplicate this flow and we can rename this flow and call this welcome message audio and we can click continue. So now we have default reply audio and a welcome message audio. So what we can do here, we can click open AI and we can say, your goal is to say welcome to Ryan's restaurant and ask how you can help in one short sentence. And so in this case, because we're using an agent and this is a welcome message, this is the rare occasion where we're going to want to change this user message because there's not going to be one that exists necessarily. This would be a dynamic welcome message. Your goal is say welcome and how can we help? Saved under the default reply. In this case, we want to change that to welcome message and we can click continue. Generate the audio reply. We want to click into the open AI action and instead of default reply, it would be welcome message text. And then here we'd want to add a new custom field for welcome message audio, something like this. Um, that looks perfect actually. Welcome message audio, continue. And then we would want to change this last custom field to welcome message audio here. And so now this would be a dynamic welcome message. We could hit publish and we could preview this from right here if we wanted to. And we, will, we should be able to just see one audio message coming through. Welcome to Ryan's restaurant. Perfect. How can I help you today? So. I do want to point out, you do not necessarily, again, need this first AI block and it would be faster. Just start off with the second block here and remove this first block if you're okay with a static message. And what you could do here, instead of using this custom field, instead of using AI for a different welcome message each time, you could just say, welcome to Ryan's restaurant. How can we help? We can click continue, make sure we publish. And we could test this out. And let's make sure we hit our restart button here. I think this should be pretty quick. We should just say I have the same kind of a message. Welcome to Ryan's restaurant. How can we help? Welcome to Ryan's restaurant. How can we help? And again, I can say, um, do you serve on a Sunday? And even though I sent, it says we're closed on Sundays, but we're able 24 hours a Monday to Saturday. And that is because I sent text message. It replied back in text because I have our super special default agent with automatic voice responses. And that my friends is how you create a default message using only audio to reply back to your customers, as well as a audio only welcome message. Thanks for watching. Peace.